Welcome back everybody, it's DJ Numismatics with another coin roll hunt. I went to the bank today and they had ordered me a box of nickels and two boxes of pennies. Well the boxes of pennies came in uncirculated so I didn't want them. I did take one just to take somewhere else and dump them. But they did have 30 rolls of circulated pennies. And I also picked up 10 rolls of circulated quarters. So I think what I'll do here is uh, we'll do a two part thing here. I'll go through all these quarters and pennies first and then we'll go through the box of nickels in a different hunt and then uh, hopefully tomorrow I can go to another bank and pick up some circulated boxes of nickels and pennies so let me uh, move some of this stuff out of the way and we'll get started on these quarters and pennies see you soon well we're on the second roll of quarters and we've got to find and that's a foreign and it is a 1873-1973 Canadian. I do believe in 1973 there's two different varieties you can find on the quarters. A small bust and a large bust. And I've always found that the easiest way to to tell the difference is uh, on the large bust these beads all around the edge will be much more closer. Wish it was a large bust because those are a lot more valuable. Instead, I just lost a quarter. <laughs> Let me get back to the hunt. Same role as a Canadian, and I just came across this. 2018 Georgia Philadelphia Minted Quarter. And you can kind of see it there. Oop, right on the tip of the wing. Let me throw it under the scope and show you a little closer. As you can see, on the tip of the wing is a giant interior die break cut on there usually it's just got a little die break that comes right through here this one's got a nice cut to it and then this is also an indicator for right over here I do believe it's right here or right here one of the two uh, Wexler's double die it's a W D D R I can't remember the designation but this is the main uh, die marker for that double die pretty neat While we're on roll number three, and we got another find on the quarters, and that is a set her down here 2019 West Point, and it is a Massachusetts Lowell. For being in circulation for over a year. It's actually in pretty nice shape. First West Point that I've found in quite a while now. Well, let's get back to this roll. While we're on roll number five, and I came across this, it's nothing major, but let me let that thing focus. You can see right here and right in here i'll throw it under the scope there's a die chip on those some of them are pretty huge and they cover almost the whole back side of the the goose so, or duck i mean Oop. as you can see right here there's a die chip and then right here is another one i've seen them to where they stretch this whole area kind of neat it's nothing i'll keep though well, I'm on roll five, and as I was saying about those Minnesotas, let's see if this thing will focus. This one has a much larger die chip. Let me throw it under the scope, and I'll bring you back in. As you can see, right here, compared to that last one, is way bigger. I've seen them even bigger, though. Well, the quarters have been searched, and let's just go over some of the finds here. We got the 2018 Philadelphia, Georgia with the die chip on the wing. The two Minnesota 2018s with the die chips on the ducks. I came across two for the 76 Drummer Boy Denver's. One had some really crazy doubling on the 
the date I, I do believe it's just machine doubling though fake me out though I did come across two 2009 District of Columbia's both from Denver non DDOs got that 1973 Canadian and the best find of the whole quarters was the 2019 Lowell West Point let me clear these quarters out of the way and we'll jump into 30 rolls of copper well, we're on roll number eight of the hunt, and we're going to have our first notable find. I did find some other stuff. And it's a wheat scent. And it is a 1953 out of Denver. Same roll as a wheat scent. I just threw this 1969D under the scope. And it is the FS901 no FG variety and it also has a floating roof on it the coins pretty beat up and since so many of these have been found it's not worth much so it's probably just gonna go back into circulation we're on roll 10 and we got another wheat scent and that is a 19 oh, was that a 2? 1942 out of Denver. I didn't even check that roll for Enders, and we had one. It's a 1956 out of Denver. You can obviously see on the back the crimper got a hold of this one. Guess I'll have to look at these more closer. It was a good, pretty decent wheat scent until the crimper stripped the, the ears on the wheat. Well, let's break into the next roll. Very next roll, roll 11, and we've got wheat scent number, me this is four, and it is a fairly crusty see if we can get that better for you guys. 1938 out of Denver. Oldest scent of the hunt so far. Well, we're on roll 14 of the hunt and we got another wheat scent. So wheat scent number five and that's a 1951 Denver minted. 51 has a D over S. My scope decided to take a crud on me. It still works, but I'll check it for it just in case. It's working good enough to check it at least, thank goodness. But I am definitely not seeing it. Well, let's finish up this roll. Roll 17, and we're going to have. Wheat scent number six, and that is a 1953, pretty crusty, out of Denver. Whoop. Roll number 22, we got wheat scent number seven of the hunt, and it is a 1956. Hang on. I can't even make it out from Denver. Roll 25 of the hunt, and let's see if I can find it again. We will have our first foreign of the hunt. Sorry about the bear snoring in the background. It is a crusty 1995. Same roll as the Canadian, and I just came across this 1990. If you look across his face and across there, there's some blistering across it. I don't know if that's feeder finger damage or not, but pretty cool. 
It may have been struck through there's something too, now that I'm looking at it. You can see cloth lines right here. Same roll, and we got another Canadian. And that's a 1982. Roll 26 of the hunt, and we got another wheat scent, wheat scent number 8, and that's a 1955 out of Denver. Well, I didn't come up with anything else in those last few rolls, so let's do a wrap up. I got a 68S, four 70Ss, with one being pretty dang nice. That's 69D, no FG. That 90D with the crazy, I think it's either, I think it might be a feeder finger error. And then possibly a strike through. The two Canadians. And not bad out of three fifths of a box, I got six wheats from the 50s, the 42, and the 38, the oldest of the box. I was going to start in on that nickel box, but my roommate is snoring louder than a grizzly bear, so like always, uh, I'm going to post a link up here for my eBay page. I do put a lot of stuff on there, so um, I'll also post a link down below on, on the varieties I look for. So until next time, Stay safe out there and uh, happy hunting. Here we are.